Hey guys, welcome back to No Cage Name. It's me, Ella, and today we're talking about Maze Knit Crate. I just got it and I'm excited about it. Um, okay, first off, I'm keeping this one 100,000%. I knew that I was going to keep it when I first seen the um, preview that they did in like mid April, early April. Um, they're doing really good at doing the previews earlier in the month before now, so you have plenty of time to decide if you want to cancel or keep it. Uh, I like that, and I usually share it on the Facebook group when they release the emails or the videos on Instagram, all that kind of stuff that they do. I share it on the group so that you can go ahead and get a look to see if you're going to like um, the knit crate or not. So this knit crate, this this month, I almost said here, <laughs> um, is another one with just one hank of yarn. It's sock yarn, and it's 439 yards. Yeah. And they said that this is the last ha the last box this year with just one in it. The rest of the boxes, the rest of the year, will have two hanks of yarn. Probably, you know, it'd be bigger than um, sock weight. It'll be like DK and worsted and possibly bulky. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I was excited when I opened this. I never can wait to open it <laughs> because uh, you know I, I'm not gonna wait. <laughs> but there's bonuses in here. I remember when I got it in the post office box this morning or the post office. I was carrying it to the car and I heard that it's not doing it now you can hear something rattling around in there and I don't care to show that because it's my post office uh, box and it's you know everybody knows it <laughs> but yeah so when I opened it uh, the first thing was on top was this little card and it says hello friends uh, this crate and the March 2019 crate both featured single skein of luxury yarn <laughs> plus extras and sometimes bonus patterns although this is the last single skein crate we have planned for 2019 we'd like to get your feedback on these crates so we can plan for 2020 and then it's got a link there to do a survey um, I haven't done that yet I'll check it out in a little bit and uh, see what that's all about but um, it's probably just seeing how people like having just the one hank compared to the two but um, I'm fine with getting one hank as long as it's enough to do projects with you know it would suck if you only got one hank of worsted away and it was only half enough to do a project and then you had to buy another hank at full price that's when it would get sucky but with it being sock weight yarn that you can actually make a whole project with um you know it's fine to just be one hank okay this is such a pretty yarn i'm gonna show it to you in just a second all right and then it came with the book as usual the pattern book which is really pretty i love the color um scheme for this month it was i think it was called farmer's market and um, I've noticed they're still playing with the magazine. It seems like every month it's a little bit different because they're trying to find what works best for them, I guess. And uh, I guess I should show you the yarn first because if I show you the patterns, it's going to show you the yarn. <laughs> so here's the yarn. Are oh, you ready? It's so pretty. <laughs> when I first saw it, it reminded me of pink lemonade because it's yellow and pink. It does have orange in it too. I love this. I cannot wait to make something with this. But it is Knitology. And let's see here. The colorway is called Citrus Squeeze, which I thought was appropriate because it's that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> it is 75% Superwash Merino, 15% Nylon, and 10% Cashmere. Finger and weight, 439 yards or 100 grams. And then it's got the, you know, hand wash it and all that stuff. Very pretty yarn. I love this color. But let's get to the book and then I'll get to the extras. So it's got all the information as always about the um, the theming and all that and then the patterns. I love all the patterns this month. They're all socks, all three patterns, the knit, the crochet, and then the sock crate knit one. <laughs> so this is the first knit sock pattern. This is the regular members crate pattern, which is still really pretty. <laughs> I wish I could knit like that. I can just barely knit. I'll see here. What is it called? It's called Squeezed Citrus Socks. It doesn't have the designer's name right there. Sarah Jordan? Yeah, Sarah Jordan. <laughs> they were really pretty. I love them. And then it's got all, it's got the whole pattern written out. And it's also got some uh, diagrams. And then the crochet pattern is socks also, which I was excited about. Uh, and I'm actually trying to make these. And it is called Magic Socks by, oh my gosh, <laughs> Lilla, Lilia Venini. There's her name. And these are the socks. 
I think those are pretty cool too. I may try to make these. It says that it's only two stitches too. Somewhere. I read that somewhere. That it was just two stitches. Alright here. Two different stitches. To highlight and mix up the busy variegated yarns. And again it's got it all written out. And it's got some color pictures of how to do some of the stitches. Which I thought was really cool. And then. And it's got it for all sizes. And it's got. You know, it's got it all separated out. It's really, it's long. It's like four pages long, the uh, pattern. And then the sock crate, which was a red color yarn. I think it's called Strawberry something. Let's see here. Strawberries. <laughs> it's called Dancing Butterfly by Cynthia Levy. And there's like butterfly shapes on the cuff. Those are pretty too. It's cool how it's all socks. <laughs> Here. and it's got a diagram also to help you there and then it's got some information about the designers and then it's got a pop-up peak the pop-up shop I like that color right there and then the best part or one of the best parts is the um, preview of next month's colorway and it is themed calico and I love the colors I can't wait to see what yarns to do it looks really chic and there's a lot of pink and gray, so I'm hoping there's a pink and gray yarn. Because <laughs> that'd be really pretty. But there's also some purple tones, so there could be a lavender-y. I don't know. I can't wait to see. And then there's white. So I don't know. There's no telling. <laughs> but, and then the two extra items. I'll put all this back in the box. Was a knit stitch marker. And it's from Exchanging Fire. It's just like two little beads. Um, this will probably go in my giveaway container because I don't knit enough to necessitate a stitch marker. <laughs> I've only knitted like once this year, so I'm not worried about it. But it is cool that it's in there. And then some buttons. I thought this was totally random. There's like the kind of buttons you can buy at Walmart and Hobby Lobby and probably Joins and all that. But they're little ladybugs. They're cute. I'm sure I'll use them for something. I don't know what, but they're cute. That would be cute on like the square that I made. You know, a little bug on there. Or a little amigurumi cat or something. You could put like a little ladybug on its ear <laughs> or something. I don't know. But yeah, so that was the knit crate this month. I was pretty excited about it. It's cool that it came with the extras. And I know that they do that so that you, you know, don't feel like you're being cheated by only getting one hank. But the one hank you get is worth more than the two hanks in the other crates. You know, it's nicer yarn and it's sock weight which is always um more expensive <laughs> but you know it's, it's cashmere nylon and wool so it is nice yarn it's so pretty <laughs> i want to use it i don't know what to use it on though i've got so much knit crate yarn in there that i'm hoarding <laughs> but i do plan on using it eventually it's just i don't know what to use it on <laughs> that's how it is though when you have pretty hanks you know you you want to just keep them and look at them and squish them and um it's hard to choose what to make your patterns for. But I'm pretty excited about that sock pattern. I've never made any sock other than like Christmas stockings and um, little like baby socks. So um, I want to try to make adult socks. And it would be cool to crochet some. And then maybe baby stuff into knitting. Because I really do want to knit socks eventually. But knitting is really hard for me. So I'll probably stick to crochet forever. <laughs> but um, I just love these colors. And it's going to be pretty socks. And it would be cool to have my own socks that I made. To wear around the house but yeah so that's knit crate <laughs> if you're interested in knit crate i have a link below that i do get a small kickback from if you use it um really small pennies <laughs> and um i have a coupon code for 20 percent off your first crate but you have to be a new subscriber and it's no catchy name 20 and they also have a sale going on right now um when you go to the website it'll pop up on like as an ad and it's if you buy the new crate you get a bonus it looks like from the picture that it is the um uh oh gosh i forgot what it's called the tit mouse yarn with the little bag the zipper bag that came out as a bonus you get it for free i think you just have to pay shipping so um it comes out to 30 something dollars i think for your first crate and then that bonus um stuff <laughs> But you get a discount if you're interested in that. But whatever. <laughs> I guess that's everything I have to say about Knit Crate this month. <laughs> it's so pretty. Squishy, squishy. I can't wait to use this. I can't wait to um, just put it on my Swift and wind it up. Because I love doing that. And it's just fun to 
watch it spin and this is pretty so it's gonna be pretty doing that <laughs> but yeah i guess that's everything so yeah bye guys